I have not vlogged in a while. I think since I started this new gig, pretty much. I uh, had an interesting day today. It was kind of challenging for a number of reasons. Um, I've been meaning to vlog. I've been wanting to talk about it. I've been offered some incredible opportunities. My younger brother is trying to get me to apply for this weird competition thing. It's definitely appealing, and I've been trying to think of a way to do it. Uh, what I gotta do is like make a video of sorts, and I've been thinking about like trying to document my life, things I'm up to, the things I want to do, and put those into some kind of a format that can be shared, right? When people are willing to actually watch. Um, I haven't smoked weed in like a week and a half, and I'm still doing the no fat thing. Uh, the other night I had what you could basically call a relapse where I had like looked at porn for a while. Uh, I kind of been sneaking it, like looking at it on Reddit, just like looking at it and then like not masturbating. Actually, last week I had a situation where I had done that for a while, sitting on the couch in the living room. And that night, one of the first and few uh, what I believe you could call nocturnal emission, uh, occurred. And of course, two nights ago, I was just looking at porn and I found myself not as nearly as turned on by it as I used to. I guess it helps if you're like masturbating while you do it, but like I didn't, wasn't touching myself. I was just looking at it, looking for like the perfect shit, which of course I was never going to find. Um, and then of course, you know, after looking at it for a long time, I was like, I'm just going to look at the picture of this beautiful girl that she sent me of herself. And, uh, it was a bit of a turn on thinking about her being there and looking at me and stuff. So that took about two seconds flat to occur. I didn't even get totally erect. It was just like, bam. It's like, I've been looking at it and thinking about it for so long, looking at porn. My shit was just ready to go. And then I could not sleep. I drank some vodka earlier in the night and ate kind of weird. And I guess that might have something to do with it. But I was up late, way later than I should have been. It's already getting late as it is. But, I mean, it was really late. And so I looked at that picture of that girl again and rubbed one out. And still found it hard to fall asleep, but eventually did. I got a couple hours of sleep. felt like junk. I think being tired is the main reason today was such a rough day, to be honest with you. But no fapping or fapping definitely hasn't helped um you know what i want to do is like stand up for what's right help people defend people who can't stand up for themselves i want to develop technology to uh, minimize our destruction of the planet I want to talk about things that need to be talked about in the political sphere, in the public sphere. I want to uh, work on making people's lives better, you know, so they don't have to work their lives away and not be able to think and be healthy and raise their family. I want to do like a reality show, to be honest with you, about all this stuff and the development of this of these technologies and, you know, some live music and just have like a hostel and like homeless shelters and make the world a better place is what I want to do. But the closest I've come to it as of late is this gig where I get to work on 3D scans of people's teeth that are then 3D printed and vacuum formed with some plastic and made into clear retainers to straighten their teeth into nice uh, visually uh, aesthetically pleasing smiles, right? And that to me is like as good almost as doing stand-up comedy because I'm pushing or helping people smile pushing people to smile well today you know so many things have happened in the last few days and my, my roommates are probably still fapping regularly uh, they they're, seem like they're 
they see the train moving by and they kind of like walked up close to like touch it or put some coins on the rails or whatever but the crazy thing is how much more active my mind is my brain and how much more easily I can come up with words and like how much more confident I feel and more intelligent I feel how much easier I find it to wake up how much better I feel um much more motivation it's bizarre how much less sleep I seem to need but yeah they're still smoking weed all the time on one in particular I said something to him last night about stopping smoking weed regularly and habitually he was like don't ever say that to me again you know, he's not open minded to it at the moment even though he talks constantly about how he wants to improve himself and lose weight and get fit and be a better person and be more successful reading this, these posts on reddit about People who've quit and like the habits and the coping mechanism is just like, dude, I know I'm, I'm on the right track. And I'm becoming less tolerant for this, for their depression and their laziness and their excuses, you know. Uh, they're still my friends, but we're grown as men. We're not boys anymore by any stretch of the imagination. And I'm just looking at it from that perspective. It's kind of refreshing, but. So, anyhow, today. I uh, actually yesterday I came up with a technique to do something at work that is a little bit different than what we've been doing and a little bit quicker maybe. And this morning I, you know, and I talked to some people about it yesterday. It was a, I thought a really good idea. I still think it's a really good idea. And I found myself this morning, you know, I was approached by a supervisor and she's like, okay, you were doing it wrong yesterday, do it this way by the books and I'm like well you know isn't this better can't you see where I'm coming from and I got the well we tried it that way a month ago and now we're behind and that's the reason why okay so <laughs> evidence right science facts proof that's what I'm trying to be all about and making things better improving the processes so I sit there dwelling in my head about that and another thing this improved way this improved method and i'm like i need to talk to somebody but i need to ask about it i need to present it to some people and i'm thinking now that i should have a never fapped so that i was more confident and persuasive most likely b talk to other people around me about it maybe in my immediate supervisor as opposed to my supervisor supervisor or whatever no i think uh Maybe I should have gone straight to the CEO of the company. I keep thinking. I kept thinking about that. But at whatever point, I made a point to asking of asking my supervisor about one step in the process that I feel like is maybe not as necessary as it, as it uh, may have seemed. And uh, I got my head bit off. It was bizarre to me. It was I, I was not expecting the aggression and the close mindedness that I uh, experienced was really off putting and disappointing. And so then of course this like per pervaded throughout the day. And, um, it just really messed up and bugged the day out for me. And, uh, <laughs> It were two things my supervisor said uh, have stuck with me. One was that there are two things about the the whole experience that have stuck with me. One was that unwillingness to even attempt to understand the the possible benefits or what I felt was unwillingness closed my and the second was Milton Friedman uh, economy of spoons. Till next time, my roommate just got home. Say hey to him.